Lead at four, day 21 of the Murdoch murder trial brings a member of the Murdoch family to the stand for the first time. Buster Murdoch uh, testifying in his own father's defense and offering interesting new details about Alex's past and his relationship with his wife and son. WSAV's Andrew Davis is joining us now live from the courthouse in Colleton County. Andrew. He was destroyed. Those were Buster Murdoch's own words about his father after he saw him just hours after the murders. Buster took the sand in his father's own defense today, and one of the things he immediately described was when his father called him to explain that his mother and his brother had been killed. He asked me if I was sitting down, and I was like, yeah. And then he, you know, sounded odd, and then he, then he told me that, that my mom and, and brother had been shot. I, I kind of just sat there for a minute. I was, I was in shock. Now, 26-year-old Buster was on the stand for close to 90 minutes this morning. During that time, he admitted that Paul used to leave guns around the property and that Paul's gun, the 300 blackout, was stolen or lost several years ago, and he never saw a replacement. He also added that he talked to his mom and dad every day multiple times on the phone, so the multiple messages and conversations on the day of the murders were not unusual. When asked about his father's drug use, Buster said he knew his father had a problem. He did a few kind of like at home, just self detoxed a couple times and, you know, thought, you know, once he did that, that, you know, get off of him. But that, that was kind of my general knowledge about it all. You, you thought he, he had beat it. That's right. Yes, sir. When it came to the weeks and months after the boat crash that killed Mallory Beach in 2019, Buster said the negativity and anger towards the family consumed his mother. It got so bad she wouldn't even shop in Hampton anymore. But he added that Alec was not overly mad about these civil and criminal boat cases, adding that amongst the family, none of us thought Paul was actually driving the boat. Buster also tried to clear up a controversy from one of the sled interviews. Did Alec tell investigators, I did him so bad, when talking about the murders. They did it so bad. What did your dad say? Said they did them so bad. They did them so bad. Is that the first time you'd heard him say they did him so bad? No, sir. When was the first time you heard him say they did him so bad? Uh, first time I heard him say that was the night that I went down to Moselle, the night of June the 7th. Now, Buster says he also packed a bag for his father the night of the killings and may have knocked a T-shirt on the ground in the closet. That, of course, could affect prosecutors' claim that Alec changed clothes after the murders before he ever met any investigators and may have knocked that actual T-shirt on the ground himself from the closet. Now, coming up at 5, we'll tell you exactly why an expert testified that Alec may not have fired those fatal shots and why someone much smaller could be involved. In Walterboro, Andrew Davis, WSCV News 3 on your side. Andrew, thank you. We have updates on the case, a live blog, and a link to a live stream from each day in court. You will find that at wscv.com slash Murdoch.